All right. So now we're going to start discussing calculating uh, correction factor. Okay. Um, remember, we just talked about adjustment factor, um, which is the number of uh, conductors in a conduit because of the heat they create. Well, now we're going to do correction factor, which is actually taking into account the ambient temperature in the air, um, in the air around the conduit or the, the cable. Okay. Um, remember, everything we do is about trying to reduce heat. So we have to keep this in mind. Um, so we have to correct for that. So correction factor, derating the wire. That's where we're at. If we just review this table, or this yeah, this table again real quick. Remember, you have wire size on each side. That's to help you with your copper section, which are these three columns, and your aluminum section, which are these three columns. Okay, the wire sizes are the same on each side, just to help you whether you're doing copper and aluminum. You're going to want to be careful for that. Uh, these are your insulation types, okay, and these are your insulation types. Um, we're going to talk about more, more about that in one second, uh, but I want you to see that each type of insulation is given to a certain temperature rating, all right, 60 degrees Celsius, 75, and 90, all right. THWN is good to 75, um, THHN is good to the 90, and TW is good to 60. Important to recognize that. Now, remember, we can only use this chart to select... Um, conductors if we meet all three criteria that list up here which is that the um, conductor is good up to 2,000 volts that it there's no more than three current carry conductors in the raceway and it's got an ambient temperature of 86 or 30 degrees Celsius so obviously since we're discussing correction factor most of the problems I'm going to talk to you about or actually all of them are all going to be for too high a um, uh, temperature. So um, the next thing we need to talk about is our ambient temperature correction factors chart here. Right? In the in the code book, this is NEC table 31015B to A. Um, so anyway, we have our ambient temperature, Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay. And then we have conductor temperature rating. We have the 60, 75, and 90. That should be familiar to you to the 60, 75, and 90, as well as the 60, 75, and 90. So when we start talking about the correction factor and doing these problems, I'm going to choose which correction factor I use based on the installation. All right. So if I'm talking about type UF, all right, when I come down here to find the correction factor I must apply, I'm going to do it in the 60 degree chart because that's where I find UF. Equally, if I'm looking for THHN aluminum, all right, which I believe is over here in the 90, THHN, yep, there it is, okay, I'm going to use the 90 degree chart over here just as I would if I was using THHN copper because that's still in the 90 degree, all right? I hope that makes sense to you guys how to read this, and I hope that this example helps you, all right? First one, what size THHN copper wire is needed to feed 70 amps? The wire will be installed through an EMT conduit through an attic that could reach a max temperature of 142. All right, so there's no adjustment factor with this, right, because I didn't say anything about number of conductors. But I am telling you that we have to worry about the temperature. Well, it's going to be essentially the same thing we did with adjustment factor, all right? The first thing I need to know is I'm looking for THHN copper and that it's got to be rated for 70 amps. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to again look for my T. I'm in copper. I'm in THHN. So I'm going to scroll down and 75 is the closest I can get to 75 without going too crazy. So 75 amps will be a number six wire. So now over here I'm going to write number six T. H, H, N, okay, and then that is good to 75 amps, okay, but now I did say, if we scroll back down, uh, installing a car through an EMT conduit through an attic that could reach a max temperature of 142 degrees Fahrenheit, so we know we're going to be in this 90 degree because we're dealing with THHN, which is right here, all right, 90 degree, 90 degree, but it's 142 degrees Fahrenheit. So 
my temperature range is here from 132 to 140 and then 141 to 149. So I'm with 142, so I'm going to come all the way over. Okay, so 0 0.65, that's taken a lot away from this value. But I'm going to apply this uh, correction factor of 0 0.65, all right, and we'll see what we get. Going with 75 amps times 0.65 equals, all right, 48 0.75 amps. Okay, so we've reduced this number six wire, which is good to 75, all right, but because it's being run in a hot temperature or a hot ambient temperature, we have to reduce it. So now it's only good to 48.75. Not good enough for what we need. So now we need to upsize the wire. So we're going to go from a number six to a number four, all right. So then I'm going to slide over. And that is good to 95 amps. So I have a number four, T H H N, which is good to 95 amps times. Now the correction factor won't change, so we can just bring that down. And now that is going to be 95 times 0.65 equals 61.75. Still not good enough to meet our 70 amp that we're looking for, right? So we got to keep upsizing. Now I'm going to go to a number three, which is good to 115 amps. So I'll write number three, T H H N, is good to 115 amps times the same correction factor of 0.65. Okay, and I'm going to go. 115 times 0.65 is equal to 74.75, 74.75 amps. And I think with that, we're going to be good enough, right? Because I'm looking for 70 amps. So that 74.5 amps meets our requirement. So we will need a number three, THHN, to feed a 75 amp circuits. So now when I come over here, I'm going to write that like this. I'm going to say number three, THHN, and we're dealing with copper. So that's my answer. Okay. Again, as you go through these, we got to this one pretty easy. All right. Only three, three jumps, but some of these could get a little bit more um, longer. You got to keep working the math through the system to get to the right number in the chart. Okay. I hope this helps you. I hope you understand why we're doing this. Um, good luck.